thing we are talking about Thanksgiving. And I came up with a definition of Thanksgiving or not. That is an act of showing gratitude and appreciation for works of goodwill or kind words. It's an act of showing gratitude and appreciation for works of goodwill or kind words. It's an expression of humility and it's an expression of courtesy. And this week, uh, I came across something that those people that you, for example, you send money or you send them payment and you have to ask them, Mepata, do you have such friends? Friends, you do something for them and you are like to inquire, how are you in Fika Kwa Ama in Fika? Like, when you have credit, I'm going to send a credit. You come to me, but I'm going to send a credit. Do you have such friends? Or do you find yourself, or you are that friend? Aha, I should ask it in two ways. Are you that friend or do you have such friends? A friend whereby you send something. You come to me, you send something. You send a credit. You send me a 20 book. And then, Unajuma, unakaa 10 minutes, unamona online. Unamua kwenda kuliza, unepata. You have such friends. How do you feel when you are reminding them? Hmm? Do you feel, eh? Una, how do you feel? Unapea mtu kitu, alafu bali unamweza unepata. And that is how I tell with you. You know, mzaze na kumia pesa, that's my confirm. If you look at the religion, now when you die, the religion will give you. But Thanksgiving is an act of showing gratitude and appreciation for works of goodwill or kind words. It's an expression of humility and courtesy. So if you're not saying thanks, na manisha kwamba wakona kituga, leave. You are either proud or you lack courtesy. Courtesy ni courtesy. You lack courtesy. So every other time you are reminded, umebata. Na jiambia tu, hey, iki guri medifikisha baani. That time when someone does something for you, and you must confirm. And that is how I tell you want to deal with God. No. Mungu ame, ame kupa uhai and you are like, I confirm. I open a uhai. And no, how does he confirm when a uhai when you become sick? Eh? Ukipato na kama nene hivi, unakumbuka, hey, mungu ni mekuja. But, friends, this evening we are saying that we should all go the way of thanksgiving. And as we've read, already read in the book of Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19, this is a good story, a story of 10 people. And I observed things in verse 13. The first observation I made is that all the 10 members made a prayer to Jesus. All of them, come on in my Bible, call Ashida. Verse 36, and they, they lifted, and lifted up their voices. When I see the word there in the Manisha, it's more than one person. So no, they lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Number two, I observed something in verse 15. That only one of them turned back, praising God with a loud, a loud voice. And it's written, then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. Only one of them. And, and again, I observed something in verse 16. That he fell on his face. That is a show of humility. He, he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now, he was a Samaritan. Yeah, uh, that he fell on his, on, his, on his feet, giving thanks, and behold, he was a Samaritan. And the Bible does not just include a Samaritan so that he has a space. You Samaritan and you come for an adventure so that pages see dry, so that you cannot see the arrows to see the Malizangi. The one Samaritan has been put there intentionally because these are ten people and one of them, only one of them is a Samaritan. The rest are Jews. Jesus is also a Jew. So, like the nine, to them, we deserve it. Who will say it? Hange tu wacha hiko, yesu ni mjiu, tu mwona kwa kwa penda, hange tu wacha, lazima hange, hange tu sot. But this is the thing that Samaritan, and I say, Mahapana, you know the Samaritan were viewed like dogs, if you remember the book, the story in the book of John chapter 4. You know, when the woman tells Jesus, no, eh, what do we have? No, the Samaritan and we, eh, the Jews and the Samaritan, what? Nini natuweka pamoja? And if you remember the other woman who was asking Jesus for healing, ah, yesu wakamuambia, eh, you dogs. Ask for what is on the table. 
au mungu mtu akasema tafa hata mimi hata dogs zinakula makombo ya mkatili because there was a some akupo na kuelewana kati ya samaritans and the jews they were not to be placed in one basket so these are the ten, these are the nine samaritans and the other the other nine lepers feel that jesus we deserve it ange tuacha and lazima ange fault but this one says that i must go back and give thanks and i will have something again that is the fourth thing in verse 17 and i call him the big question tell your neighbor the big question the yeah, that is the big question. And the big question goes, then Jesus answered, We are not dead blessed. At the end of what? Verse 17. Uh -huh. We are not dead blessed. You can read like you also thank God. One, two, three, go. Jesus asked, We are not all dead blessed.
We say that our love for this right. It is our contentment. If I give you 1,000 shillings and you don't tell me thank you, in other words, you meant you would have done more. It's no good. They could pay 1,000. That's the same thing. Si na manisha sasa wewe na hii 1,000 yako. So mkongeza kakitu wamo kai nae. You know, those are the responses. It shows that contentment. And that is how our parents are done to finish. Mzaza na kutubia kitu mwambia sina red. Hatuma 3,500. Ya kutuwa na mbaki na 450. At least ya kumekele. Mwa unasema, ah, you know you don't say anything. Nalipa red. Hii gini unenda unachafua kwanza. Mama na piga sima ushiki. Nasema kwa nini nini mungo kwa hotelu na kula 450 ya maadhe Na ana kutukidia simu, akuliza kama unipata Kwa ushiki And thankfulness is some contentment But to say I deserve more, it is It equals to greed, ulafi You want more, it's complaining There are people who are not grateful at any other point People who will always complain for everything and I would say, when I put up a gift, I said, he gets, in a kakama is, he will must, you know what, when I put up a watchman, the watchman, when I see him open, people will have complaining, people will have complaining, they are unthankful, I thought, when I saw this, 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 I thought, It's a complaining spirit. And my friends, complaining is the opposite of unthankful. And if you, if you don't deal with unthankfulness, you will always complain. You will not have any other reason to thank God. Not even the people around you. You know, 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 and you know, you are complaining. And someone else, hata to cast a puna. Hana, hana, kabisa. Wewe una complain? Kwa nina una nini? Nasema, tuniko na kiatu moja. Kiatu moja, tine. Na una tu Johannes na yamulabu. Na blamu. Hakuna labu hizi nyezi mekuja. Tisa juzi hizi. Hakuna jinika ingine hivi. Na mimi, kilo yu wako plaini. Kwa sister, saya stai. Kwa mimi tu. I'm going to show you the secret of one. But you know, you are always complaining. You are going to say that you are going to say that the head is unsound. You are going to say that 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 you are going to say no, no, you can't get this side. 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 But you know, you are complaining. It's complaining that you are thankful. It's simply saying you deserve better than what you were given. You know, there are people who ask themselves, you know, there are people who ask themselves, Mwana kwa klasi mwana kwa ukiwa, mwana kwa ukiwa na mwana kisto. Sama integrity, integrity, sama kama. Mwana kwa 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 exam card, the career exam. And who told you the lecture of the mark? No, no, you're going to get the mark. As you are complaining, but you're going to get the mark. Someone is telling God, you're going to get the mark. 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 You're going to get the exam. Where you're going to complain? Question one, how to win. Question one, pick it. That's why you're going to get the section C. You're going to get the mark. You're going to get the mark. You're going to get the mark. Players are in touch of which one are they? Is it the other one? No. Question one is the final one. You make a deal. And complaining is simply unsatisfaction. Simply saying I'm not satisfied with what I have.
with what God has given me. I'm thankful people are always imagining where is God, what really he's doing with others, and not for them. No, you imagine. I don't know if you have a brother, 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 you Get rid of the little things. You know, you are, you are thinking of what God is doing for others. Looking at others, comparing yourself, not forgetting what God has done to you. And the simple things that, and that's mentioned one of them, the ingestion. There are functional body, uh, functional body parts or body systems. You know, do you pray that we go the right way? There are people when you are addition of beer. You know, they are, they are, when I come at you, we be, much less more people are in beer. But you are there complaining, waking up. Do you think it's your alarm that wakes you up? Eh? I don't know if you want to go to the church. But you really miss prayers. I don't know if you want to go to Do you think it's the alarm? Friends, we do not wake up because the alarm has run. Do you want to get up and go to the church? Do you want to get up and go to the church? Do you want to get up and go it's not an alarm that wakes us up. Having functional body parts, you know, even this hand being able to move, you, you need to thank God. Having the appetite. Amen. <laughs> you need to thank God. Those are simple things. There are people, you know, if you have the appetite and you are complaining, why is it not sitting as a because there is no rocket cube or there is no dania? Everything on the table. If you've been sick and the level of losing an appetite, you can attest to it. Look at it. So, what do you think? 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 They bring everything here. What do you think? What do you think? No, they give you options. What do you think? What do you think? They bring you options so that they try to please you. But your appetite is not there. These are the things we forget to thank God for. And I, as, again, as I said earlier, having a sound mind, a great mom. It is something to thank God for. Who are complaining when now they are doing question one? Who are trying to complain when now they are doing the thing? Yes, yes, someone but again. A feeling which I can give you are you are complaining. The man when here on the around the in town, do you think they are not better than God's image? Do you think they are not fearful of being attacked in the main? They are. But life has found them in that situation. Yet we are complaining of how that is something to thank God for. Yet God has given us so much that we can thank God for Him. Number, number nine is why do we thank God? Why? Mona Muskuru Moon, time is so much fleeting. Mona, we thank God for, him, for who He is, or rather His nature. And actually, number one, we thank God because He is good and His mercies endures forever. And I uh, said you to present 1 Chronicles 16.34. 1 Chronicles 16.34. And if you write, you write as roughly 11, Psalm 106, verse 1, Psalm 136, 2 to 3. 1 Chronicles 16.34. The Bible says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love endures forever. If you are Ezra 11, 3 11, Ezra chapter 3, verse 11. <coughs> With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord, He is good and His love, and His love endures forever. And all the people, Give a shout of praise to the Lord because the foundations of the house of the Lord was laid. So we say we are thanking God because His love and His mercy is in us forever. Friends, God is a good God. And at times we may view Him as a bad God because of things He has not done for us. But being good is in His nature. And that's why He, he does things by His own will. Number two, we thank God because He is holy. 
that is Psalms, chapter 30, verse 4, then Psalms 97, verse 12. We thank God because He is holy. It says, Sing to the Lord, you say, of His praise. Sing to the Lord, you say, of His praise, His holy name. We thank Him because He is holy. Imagine if you had a God, a God who is unholy. He is holy because when we say he is holy, it means he is just, he is upright. Hakose, that is what means that he is holy, he is whole. Hakose, he does everything uh, according to his perfect nature. And at times you wonder how he blessed the universe. It's because of his perfect nature. And, the, and no, people ask, where, where are the pillars that support the, the, the sky? Pillars in Kohab say, Kama is, is my smama even, is my shirea vingu kuju, ilis kwa mukie. But God is holy in his nature, he does things for his own glory. Psalm 97 verse 12 says, Rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise his holy name. I praise the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise his holy name. Number three, an attribute we thank God for is because of his love. And that we simply get it from John 3 16. That for God so loved the world, that he gave his only God his son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loved us. The reason why we are gathered here, we are not gathered here because we are Kissy University Christian and uh, Kissy University students. The reason why we are gathered here is because we are Kissy University Christian Union members. Christian Union meaning we have been saved by the precious blood of Jesus. And not Jesus left the heavenly glories to come to die for our sins. He did not need man. When they walk out of the court, the Malayika and the Zeshri and the Nene, the Jesus and the Yeshua, you know, they will just sit after Adam and the Father of Tuzake and get another Adam. So my Adam went to the apple. When he did not come, you know, in heaven, in Revelation, it says that worship is two for seven, and you know that the 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 the, the, the angels are the twenty four four elders, and the four living creatures are bowing down and saying, "Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty." Him who was in weeds, you know, uh, taking out their crowns and giving God glory. Yes, we are going to be a little bit. No, today, to our people. But He left the heavenly glories to come and die for us. And if we do not have any other reason to thank God, we can thank God because of this one sole thing, sole reason because He saved us. Number two, we can thank God because of what He has done to us. And as, as Chacha put it, that we, at times, thanking God uh, needs us to graduate from thanking because of what He has done to us, for, for who He is. Because at times you may look at your life, at rest on every side, perplexed, and you are, you, are, you, are, you are thinking, what can I thank God for? Is there anything good that I can thank God for? You know that moment when the landlord is at you, you know, Tala uh, the at you, Fuliza at you, and the lecturer is teaching hard stuff, and you know the road to the people becomes longer, and you know your friends, you know, that they become unfriendly, and you know if those people are in a relationship, the relationship is going like, you know, cold, 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 no, it's going like that, and you are asking God, is there anything? You no, know, you are calling God on the table and asking God, will I give the answer again? You know, can we thank you? Is there anything? But you remember as we read last weekend in Hebrews 15, uh, uh, 13, verse 15, that let us give God a sacrifice of praise. It's a sacrifice. That's why we graduate from just thanking for what He has done to what we is. Because at times there are times that are just, you don't want to talk to anybody, you don't want to say anything. Then you know you are looking at ah, that's not really exist. Uh, and this semester I've had a good share of my own experiences and moments where I will thank God because of who he is and not what he has done. And I remember for the guy last week, we were here you know, receiving the certificates, very jovial, thanking God for what he has done for us. And we went to the guest house to the uh, we went to the guest house with the guest. And after that we were with Mam Zohi, we took a letter. He took the phone and came and I. Had. Okay, you know, Pole Veneza, the Kinada, no, the Pole does not even enter anywhere. No, Pole is here. And what's enough is when I went to my room. You know, Mazel, when you come back, you know, you put some music or you know, you answer some text which you did not answer because you were working. You know, reality don't change me. There is nothing to connect the Hufan Chu. You try to play 
hakuna kitu na kutaona naambia Mungu Mungu wewe Mungu mimi ndani Imagine kama tumeokolewa because tuko na kitu. Eh? 
uko na kiti kuna mtu anachezea wokovu wake alipia Yesu unasema Mungu nitazie hiyo huyu anachezea wokovu give me that one but you are saved by grace not by works less than one of us would boast number 3 for forgiving forgiving us like the breath of life genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says that after he created man that is after Mahoma after God had formed man from the dust of the ground he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life the breath of life is the one that sustains us. And uh, sometimes I was just thinking and saying, uh, you know, I'm a doctor, and I'm a watch, watch, you know, I'm a slave queen. You know, there are those people who you know they are proud of their titles. You know, I'm a lady, I'm a musician, I'm the chair, I'm the overseer. But, and I was just thinking, when God removes the breath of life, you know, back to God, my name. So come on, because they couldn't have come You know, that is how it, it simply is. So we need to thank God because of the breath of life. And then we thank God because of making us victorious. He has given us victory. That is from the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 7. Thanks be to God, the best us to triumph. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 7. 57, sorry. Huh. Yes. But thanks to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. God who gives us victory through uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Number three, why we thank God? We thank God because it's a good thing. Tell your neighbor it's a good thing to thank God. You go to the Bible and say, it's a good thing. That is Psalms chapter 92, verse 1 to 2. Psalm 92, verse 1 to 2. We will read together by them when they are there. Aha, 1, 2, 3, go. It is good to praise the Lord and make music in the name of God. Verse 2. To proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. It's a good thing. It's a good, a, a good thing to praise God, a good thing to give thanks to God. And how do we thank God after we've known why? And we want to know how do we thank God. We can thank God by a sacrifice. That is Leviticus chapter 7, verse 12. We thank God by a sacrifice, offering a sacrifice, a sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice of your offering, what you have, your tithes. No, it's. it's it's part of thanking God for what He has done for us, who He is by a sacrifice. And some of us will then will read the opposite as an expression of thankfulness. Then along with this thank offering, He is to offer cakes of bread made without yeast and with oil, offers made without yeast and spread with oil, cakes of fine flour, well kneaded and mixed with oil. That is talking of the Old Testament, that they thank God for a sacrifice. You now sacrifice for our context, we can thank God by offering, you know, bringing your tithes here. It's not because of, uh, uh, it's not that it's for show, it's a show, but you're just thanking God. And at times I was sitting here, the Lord was challenging me. At times we come to the service and, you know, we say 200, and he said, you need 50. Love, that's not as much as ashes, please. Asha swana karibia. Ndoa kwa nuko kujua naenda kwa church. Lafu ndo anaimba kwa brothers mini mini yu imba kwa sadaka. Unashika yu kwa 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 Unashika yu kwa 200. Sima kwa 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 even the 250 is God will give you before you came into the service. And at times, even if it comes to think given our time. No, we do not have to go. We have to go to the house. 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 You go for that. 
you buy some gladis hata kwa uhitaji kwa ina daraja kuchukua kila kitu la kufanya jambo kwa ndio kwa kila kitu after one week unakaa hivyo unasema woi sitatolea mungu kitu na nimebaki na 500 kwa unajua sasa stay iko mbali na tulikuwa na 21000 mmenua simu ya tena sasa mtu anadudi anachukua hiyo simu anasema ah wewe just because we receive forget friends we can be faithful in taking faithful in giving offerings wana kusema laptop and laptop and laptop you know wana sema hiyo kitu anastay ina kubende ina stay dia anzi hata kwa jibangu sina kitu na kakwa bende kwa hindi lazima wakwena yo kitu chupasta bebe chupai kwa hindi ya kukubia but we need to give God through thanks and sacrifice we praise God number two we do it to praise and worship that is we read last time Hebrews 13:15. Let us continue and offer a uh, thanksgiving praise to God because He is good. Praise and worship is not a song. It's not uh, playing the instruments in essence, but it's a lifestyle of worship, a lifestyle of revering God, knowing that it is Him who is, who is the head of my life, knowing that it's Him who has given me everything that I have. So that when your neighbor comes to you. You don't look at them like, well, what are you just saying that? You know. <laughs> you know, you know, we, we, we take praise in God, we work at our heart, but you praise God even at our blocks, you know. You have to put a mock a magic bar, a blank or a name. That's what we talk about. I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what. You know, I don't know what, ah, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what. Naangusha nguo za neba na acha tu sinakaa mpango. Naangusha tu ukitoa zaapa na mko anasema ah hata hiyo ni chip sana ya daraja. Tena nayo ipate. But we need to have a life of praising and worshiping God. Revere God knowing that it is him who is over our lives. Now you can find in Psalms 69 verse 30, Psalms 25 verse 2, Psalms 100 verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4. says make a joyful noise to the lord of all the earth so we still want to say make a joyful noise but say we are just using the word the bible says we say we now talk and then and then once again we need to get a full car but we are not watching tv we are watching some tv like the bible says make a joyful noise to the lord so na choma na kingi choma chenye wananda da verse 1 in the same so we are come one of the kingi how go how far and then and I say, myself the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. So, I'm not going to say, I'm going to force. I'm going to praise and worship. I'm going to pray for you. The Bible says so. Not that the Lord is good. It is he who made us. And we are his. Aha. It is him who made us. We are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. So that you don't need instruments to praise God. So that you can end up by, you know, you don't sit in one of them and go, Hey, praise and worship, Sasa. What are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? You know, thank God because of who he is. Thank him with the instruments. So that you can go, you know, but you can go and sit. How can you go and ask for him? You can say that, God have mercy. You know, you can go and sit. You can go and sit. You can go and sit. Nakati wanda ina teksi wanda sama chachi msha kui na po, na po, na po, na po. The Bible says, thank God. I know you are going home and you may be tempted. You know, music in enda yuki, instrumental chwa enda yuki, na dance chwa enda yuki, na kini noa mishuka. Na shaka, noa mishuka, na shaka. Thank God anyway. So that, ata kama ni mfanya kapela. Kama kuna yuki, tima ziki potea. Watu na jamazaka yuki, anza kwa mkani yana yuki. Twimbe tafadhali, twimbe, twimbe, twimbe. There was a time Ken was telling us, there was a friend when I was at him. When I was there, I said, yeah, yeah, I come by the name. There's a gift, nini, nini. I come to a man, I'm a yo, 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 yo. Stima zika pote. Jamani, I'm a kukonja stima. But if you are a worshiper, you don't wait for stima. Stop. If you are a worshiper, you know, you just need yourself. 
how the two in your room and you 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 are dimly to worship kwa kuna shaka wana wao imeisha ni giba hizi kwenye nyimbo ama ulikuwa unaosha vyombo ukaosha vyombo two hours so worship ilikupata hapo ngapo kwa hizo experience you are doing something and you are caught with it and you know you unazama unazama without these comments without that someone telling you with hands and it's a blessing number next uh, how we give thanks to god by serving him faithfully and that we get it from the book of acts chapter 13 verse 13 where the bible records of david that david served god in his in his generation he served god with what kind of goodness being in every ministry it's not because we need to identify yourself we go back to attack to go at the school lonely so at one point we are not telling so that you don't become lonely we are telling so that you get an opportunity to, to serve god and that you are service to god okipanga is bit it's service to god you are thanking god because of the energy so look we say you are telling god thank you for the spirits thank you for having for forgiving me as our mind we come up with project thank you not for giving me a, a computer speed so that i cannot enter means project and still you want to do us that's what you know you are thanking god then lastly when should we give thanks nine all of us have answers for this and i got three three uh three adjectives yes i got three adjectives uh, born we should thank god always number two we should thank god continually and then number three we should thank god in all circumstances always continually in all circumstances if you 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 will see that all these things almost mean the same things look at continually always and in all circumstances that is in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 up until you the word always uh, new king james version ah at the word good always give thanks to god the father of everything the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Next is Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. Devote yourself to prayer, be watchful and faithful and thankful. Verse 3. And pray for us. Uh, maybe verse 2 with another version, New King James Version. Uh, continue honestly in prayer. No, continue honestly in prayer. Being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. It's, it is continual. And then last week, verse Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, that we give thanks in all circumstances. Friends, we cannot exhaust the thanksgiving. And thanksgiving itself is not a, a topic or it's not something to be discussed. And I heard someone say that the best way to teach people about prayer is to allow them to pray. It's no way. You can prepare 72 ways to make vectors and to pull heavens down. The Jaribu step one in Kushin, step two in Kushin. But you can get that in prayer when you have a job to your friends. Look at it. So the best way even to talk about Thanksgiving is not even someone teaching you about Thanksgiving. But the teaching is just to sensitize you on the, the need to be thankful. But Thanksgiving is, should be a lifestyle. It is not a, an event. It's not a Thanksgiving weekend. Thanksgiving is our lifestyle. And as we began, Apo Mapema, Kasema Kwamba, this generation has people full of Umepata, you know, the Umepata generation. You must ask them, Umepata, Umepata. And I don't, I don't want us to be Christians where Jesus will ask us, Umepata, why Leo? No, Umepata, Leo. Yes, we have to ask them, we will ask them, Chacha, Leo, Umepata. Umepata. Umepata, Umepata. God does not need to, to remind us. But it should be something growing out of our hearts. We should do it genuinely and we should do it continually. <coughs> Knowing that our life should be a life of thanks. Thanksgiving. Thanking God for who He is. Thanking God for what He has done. And even thanking God for the environment. Just walk around this university tomorrow. Thank God for the VC. Thank God for the administration block. Thank God for the pavement. Thank God for the weak Wi-Fi. No, just thank God. Thank God. <laughs> thank God. Thank God for the best people. Thank God for the watchmen. Just be thankful. 
don't you have complaint and you know, others asking why this, why not this, why not this? And complaining knocks us off our, our joy, it knocks us off the fear of God, it knocks us off many things that God will give us. Imagine uh, where we live in verse 19. Jesus tells this Samaritan that go, your faith has made you born. In Luke, that is 17, verse 11 to 19, that is verse 19. You know, Sema, yes, what you go, your faith has made you born. And I was thinking, what happened to the other guy? Pekino Ukomo in Warudia. See, no. Okay, it's an imagination subject to the speed. Pekino Ukomo in Warudia. Oh, Pekino Walibona. Pekino, we don't let the Bona to know leprosy cuts the fingers or cuts the body parts. So, come as in the post, we can take a yes and complete this Kapua. But this one, your faith has made you hope well. I, I, I tend to think that we don't we don't listen to Rudy Blanks. I do want much of Rudy because he came to them to give, to give thanks. And I thank God so much because of you who saw it fit. I know you finished the exams on Tuesday on Monday, but you say I will wait. At Haman Mekaniwa na Kamoja Makawili, but I will wait to give thanks. And we are grateful that God has made you an opportunity to thank God and to be in this house. Friends, we cannot do less, we cannot complain, we cannot grumble. We always should find something to thank God for. We may not complete in ourselves, we may not have everything that we need, but God has done so much for us. Allow me to pray. Our Father in heaven, we bless you and thank you. Because you're great and you're wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for giving me an opportunity to share your word. Lord, I know you've called us to have a thankful life. Father, I pray, Lord, you shall help us as this time, as this, this generation, Lord. We shall not be a generation that shall be asked to give thanks. When our thanksgiving shall be a lifetime. Lord. Thank you for this semester. We are grateful as a church, as an individual, Lord, for everything that you've done, the, the rents that you've paid for us, the school fee that you've paid, the friends that you've had, the food that we've ate, the academics, Lord, the, the guests and ministries, not by our own ones, less than one of us is boast. And Father, we thank you. Father, we love you because you are great and you are wonderful. In Jesus' name we pray, trust and believe. Amen. Amen.